The United States ranks second in the world in milk production to the tune of over 25 million gallons a year. Keeping up with the demand for dairy products are the nation's over 51,000 dairy farms. My name is Nathan Alzinga. I'm a partner on Daybreak Dairy in Zeeland, Michigan. Here we milk just over 200 registered Holstein cows and my responsibility is mainly with the cows. I make sure day to day that they're healthy. If they need attention, I give them attention whether it's treatments or nutritional changes, breeding, uh, reproductive work, taking care of new calves. That's basically what I do on a day to day basis. We use technology for uh, balancing diets for the different animals on the computer. We use technology in actually feeding the cows, knowing how much each cow eats every day. And then also, if you look around the farm, you'll see the animals, most of the animals have a transponder on their leg, and that keeps track of their activity level, uh, their milk production, and it dumps it all into a computer database, so every day it helps us look at cows more individually, even though there's a large group of them. The computer helps us determine, oh, this one might need attention, you better look at her today. We have an uh, automatic calf feeder that helps us feed the calves. instead of feeding the calves by hand twice a day, the calves can come up and eat on their own six times a day. So the possibilities are endless and with fewer and fewer farmers every day, we've had to make changes with the tools that we use. Agriculture is, is growing rapidly and contrary to what people might think, it's, it's advancing with technology and science quicker than anybody would realize. And there's so much potential for new people coming into the field in so many different areas, not even directly on the farm, but some of the other things that are associated with agriculture. Coming out of high school, I went to MSU for their two-year dairy tech program, graduated from there and came back to the farm. Don't be afraid to, to pursue the ag industry. If you're gonna go that direction, you really have to go on your own. Sometimes the schools don't push you that way, but I know in, in, high, in high school, I had a teacher who told me I didn't need to continue with math considering the field I was going into, and I regret that decision because math is one of the things that you use on a day-to-day -day basis on a farm. This year we have an intern from MSU, and it's a, a good experience because the person coming from the school is coming with some new ideas themselves. They come with the excitement of the career field that they're going into, and for us it's an opportunity to, to teach somebody and, and find what direction we want to go. When you're, when you're teaching somebody else, you're teaching yourself at the same time. My dad moved here in 1976 and he milked 60 cows and stanchions here until 1994 and we decided getting more family involved it was time to expand and milk more cows. So we bought some cows, we built a milking parlor and a free stall barn and growing up here I grew up on the farm and it's been a great experience. I remember being out in the cows when I was little and I probably shouldn't have been out in the cows and it gave me an appreciation especially going to school to realize what I had growing up and what I needed to do to continue and now that I have my own kids here I'm excited to give them that same experience. There aren't enough agriculturally trained and educated people to meet the needs of today's employers so when you think about a career that's right for you think agriculture.